Ricky Gervais, uh, obviously, just doing some more uh, charity. Typical. Um, what it is, the little posh four eyed fella who organises uh, this whole event, what's his name? Richard Curtis. Uh, he called me up and um, he really does do an awful lot of work for this as well, I must say. He does a, a brilliant job and um, takes up a lot of his time, which is why he couldn't spend more time on love actually. Um, he called me up and he said, Rick, Africa is still by far the poorest continent on the planet. Um, drought and famine still ravage the land and um, lack of sanitised water and hardly any medical care means that disease is everywhere. Um, would you like to go there and film something um, for comic relief? I said, obviously not. It sounds awful. <laughs> New York? Pay for me to go to New York and I'll film summer. Now, that's brilliant. There's so much to do. And it's not depressing. It's excellent. So, off we go. <laughs> Start spreading the news I'm leaving today I want to be a part of it New York, New York These vagabond shoes Are longing to stray Right through the very heart of it, New York, New York. I want to wake up in a city that doesn't sleep and find I'm king of the hill, top of the heap. Wow. As you saw, that was amazing. So, uh, I don't usually like doing stuff for charity because it's sort of like boring and there's nothing in it for me. But that was one of the best freebies I've ever had. And it must have been good for comic relief to actually give something back for a change because usually it's us celebrities doing stuff for them. So, thank you. That must have cost quite a bit. But if you want me, quality costs. Um, so, yeah, thanks very much. Sorry, but just before <clears throat> before you sort of go off, we just could we maybe at least get your views on you know what comic relief means to you? Um, what comic relief means to me? It usually means Robbie Williams helping out a catchphrase-based sketch show. He did the Far Show. He's doing Little Britain this time. Probably doing Bo Slip the next time. So yeah, good luck to him. He's doing his bit. We're all doing our bit. Cheers. Sorry, but yeah, maybe could you at least maybe do like a little oh. sort of appeal just to remind people what Comet Relief's about, you know, about the, the famine and the drought and so on. Oh, drought, drought, drought. Well, everyone, everyone has drought. We had a drought here, you know what I mean? In the long, hot summer of 1976, we had a hosepipe ban in Reading. You know what I mean? We've all got our problems. My poor mum had to sneak out under the cover of darkness in case she got shocked by a neighbour with a bowl of water to do the roses with her back. You know what I mean? We saw it out, we worked through it, just, you know what I mean? There was a government advert at the time, I remember, that said, save water, take a bath with a friend, which I did. I say a friend, he was, he was more a friend of my granddad's. Ten quid's a lot to a kid in Reading. Anyway, thanks again, there you go. Um, please give generously because I want to go to LA next time and that is gonna <laughs> that's gonna cost a bomb. I want to do the Universal tour, the shark, you know. <laughs> It'd be brilliant. I can't I actually can't wait. I'm looking forward to doing something for charity. <laughs> Cheers. I'm gonna get a bit of I only got about seven hours on the plane. Cheers. <laughs>